Welcome to GSA's Kahua eLearning Series. In this video, we'll walk through the steps to create a project in Kahua using the Projects app. The Projects app is used to create and update project information. Project creators are typically project managers, regional leadership, service center directors, and Kahua program managers. Let me show you where to find the Projects app in Kahua and how to create a project. After logging into Kahua, click the App Launcher located on the left navigation pane. You can find the Projects app under Project Identification, Initiation, and Planning. You can also search for the app by entering the app name in the search bar. It's important to note, if you do not see the app listed in the app library, your account is not set up to use this app. If you feel like you should have the rights to create projects, please reach out to your regional Kahua program manager. Click the app title to open the app. The project app log will open. To create a new project, click New Project. The project form will open to the right. If you'd like to maximize the form, click the Full Screen button on the bottom toolbar. To return to the split screen, click the Split Screen button. To view the log only, click the Log button. You can toggle between these views at any time. If you have a picture of the building and would like to display the image, click Change under the building icon and upload the image. Enter any applicable comments if desired and click OK. Click the drop down arrow to select the partition type. There are two types to choose from project or sub project. The project number will auto populate upon save. The project name will automatically be created using a combination of the state, city, building name, and short project name. So keep this in mind when creating the short project name. Also enter a full description of the work to be completed. Select the project type, and next select the project subtype. The project type and project subtype selected will determine the template used to create the project, and the template will affect the milestones the project uses. Update the remaining fields in the Details section with the applicable information. If you don't have this information yet, you can edit the project information later. In the next step, we'll select the building for the project. Buildings is one of several index apps, and information found in this section is imported to the Buildings app via an integration with Rexus. You can add more than one building by checking the Multiple Buildings box. If adding more than one, change the line items number to reflect the number of buildings and click Insert. Click the drop-down to select the building ID. To search for a building, enter the building name in the search box and click the title. If adding more than one building, click Primary to distinguish the primary building. This information will populate multiple apps within Kahua. If you've added a line by accident, check the box in front of the empty line and click Delete. For training purposes, I'm only going to use one building so I'll uncheck the Multiple Buildings box. Beneath the selected building, you can find all of the building information that is imported via the integration. To add the funding information, click the Insert button to add a line. To add more than one line, change the items number and click Insert. Select the funding type. If selecting Iris, click the drop-down for ACID work item and locate the applicable funding information. You can use the search feature to quickly find a record. If selecting Rita, scroll to the right, click the drop-down for the RWA work request. Using the search, find and select the corresponding RWA. Information for both of these funding types is brought in via integrations with IRIS and Rita. Next, we'll enter the project roster information. The Project Manager field is required, and the person listed as the Project Manager will be responsible for updating the information in this app. Other project team members will not be able to enter data or make changes in the project app. 
In the next video in the series, we'll show you how to change the Project Manager information if needed. To add the Project Manager, click the drop-down and search for the name of the PM. Click their name to select. Add the other team members if the information is known. If not, this information can be updated later. Add one or more Agency Bureau codes. To add another line, click the Insert button. Click the drop-down arrow and enter either the code or the name of the agency. Click to select. The Agency Bureau code is also an Index app and the information within this app is updated via an integration with FMIS and the OA tool. If there is information to add to the client project agreement, occupancy agreements, or lease sections, this information may be added in each section by clicking the Insert button. If this information is not yet available, it may be added later. Upload any supporting project documentation using the References section by clicking the Upload button. Click the drop-down and click Save to save the project. After saving, note the project name. It includes the state, the city, the building, and the short project name. To close the Projects app and see the newly created project, right-click on the Project app and click Close. Click Project Finder. Locate the project and to make this project one of my projects so it's easier to find, click the star. If you click the My Projects tab, you'll see the newly created project listed here. To edit the project, click the pencil icon. To edit a project, click the Edit button. Scrolling down through the project information, you'll find some newly added sections. The Project Settings shows you the template the project is assigned to, the milestone configuration, and when the template was last applied. Two new fields, Internal Status and Client Status, will be used for reporting information. The dates will auto-populate with information entered in the Milestone and Scheduling apps. You can add additional scope information such as number of occupants, parking spaces, and square footage. You can also update sustainability financials for energy, water, and finance projects. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see several new buttons. We'll talk more about this in our upcoming video, Editing a Project. To close the project, click the X in the right corner. This concludes the video on how to create a project using the Projects app. The next video in this series will show how to edit and update a project, including how to change the project manager designation. Thank you for watching. If you need assistance with Kahua, please reach out to kahuasupport at gsa.gov.